Welcome to Mitzi Kit Adaptive Crafting. In today's episode, we are going to do a DIY sock gnome, and it's going to use a really unusual piece for its beard, a simple Swiffler dry pad. Hi, this is Tammy from Mitzi Kit. Today, I'm gonna to show you this really cute craft. It is to make a gnome. It seems to be all the rage. You see it all over these days. And this little gnome has a nice white fluffy beard, little nose, a gray hat with trim. It's a knit hat and a knit body. You can see he's a little bit chubby. <laughs> and his hat has what looks like a little folded pom-pom on the end. And this is all made with very simple um, simple things you can find right in your house most likely. The only thing that you might not find in your house um, is easily purchased at your local craft store or even um, potentially Target and that would be the nice little wooden balls, um, craft balls. Uh, the other things that you will need are two socks, preferably knit socks that are a little heavier. Um, the sock that is used for the hat I like um, a sock with a trim on the top so that it looks like a nice little hat brim. And the sock on the bottom, you can make it a, a printed kind of sock. If it's wintry, that's kind of cool for your gnome to be a, a wintry gnome. And the, um, as I mentioned, the nose is a wooden ball. It's just a wooden craft ball. And it's pretty small. I'll mention the diameter of that ball in the, um, write up for this video or if you're listening to the podcast I'll also include that in the write up of the podcast and the beard was my favorite part of this because I had been looking all over at the different tutorials to make these little gnomes and there are a lot of tutorials out there to do this sock version of the gnome but the beard was typically purchased um, different fur from different stores and I wanted to try something that you could do that was very cost effective and you could even get from your own house. So this is actually made out of a Swiffler duster um, piece of, I guess, cloth. So it's called the Sweep Dry Swiffler Cloth. And it's just this simple white cloth this is folded in half, and I'll show you how we make that into this cute little beard. The other thing you'll need is about a 12 to 13 inch piece of ribbon or rope or, um, not rope, a thin, thin twine maybe, um, or yarn even, and some scissors, and then some rice to fill your gnome with. So, oh, and the one other thing I like to use are glue dots. So you can get glue dots um, at, again, any of your local craft stores. They are nice because they're less messy and really you don't need a lot. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, you're gonna pick out two socks. And the nice thing about this too is you're not wasting your socks. So these are two of my nicer pair of socks. And I'm gonna plan on wearing them again after I take my gnome apart. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to use them. So one of these socks I'm going to use as the hat. And as I mentioned, I like this one because it has a nice trim on the top. So if you have a, a pair of socks that has a nice trim on the top of the sock, that makes for a nice brim of the hat when you fold it over. And then for the body, I'm just using this cute little print um, knit sock that I have. It's a fairly, both of these are fairly heavy kind of winter socks. And I like that because it makes my gnome look a little bit more wintry. So I'm gonna start with my shorter sock, my shorter winter sock. And I'm gonna take some rice, obviously uncooked, <laughs> and I am going to pour it into my sock. So I'm gonna open the sock bottom and just put it over the top of my measuring cup and pour in some rice. Whoa, I'm gonna make a mess. Try not to make a mess like I just did. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So maybe this time I'm just gonna open it up and 
I should have had a, a smaller measuring cup. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the sock over the top of my measuring cup so that it covers it, so that when I pour the rice in, there we go, then I don't have to worry about it falling all over the place. Okay, so I did that. So now I've filled my sock with, it's two cups of rice right there. And then you'll see it comes right up about to where the heel is. And I'm gonna tie a knot in the top. Press it down, tie a knot. Just, just one simple knot, not too tight, because eventually you might wanna take it out. There's the body of my gnome, nice and chubby. Okay, I'm gonna brush over the <laughs> rice that I spilt. And then next, I am going to put the hat together. The bottom part of my gnome is the shorter sock that I filled with two cups of rice, tied a knot on the top, and then where that knot is on the top, I'm gonna take my other sock and where the, um, the cuff on the top of my sock is, I'm gonna wrap that around the, where that little knot is on my other sock filled with rice so that it becomes the hat. And you can fold this, this brim the way you like I kind of liked it folded up and then back down again so it makes like a, a nice little brim edge of the hat. And then because this sock is long, you're going to have like a long stocking hat and it's cool. You Right by where the heel is, just take it and make another little knot and pull that through so that you have like a little tail with a knot in it and you fold it over and it makes a cute little cute little hat. So there is your gnome hat and your gnome body. Now we're gonna make this cool beard. Really simple. So again I'm taking this Swiffler duster pad, Swiffler dry duster pad. It's folded in half. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take that um, 15, 12 or 15 inch ribbon or twine or yarn and I'm going to put it right inside the fold where it's halfway folded, the Swiffler pad, so that the Swiffler pad is just hanging in the center over that piece of ribbon or twine or um, yarn. And then, oh I forgot to mention you do want tape. So the tape is going to be taping that ribbon to the center of your Swiffler pad. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that would just help to secure it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take this, and the Swiffler, and where um, the bottom part, so on the bottom, you should have the two pieces coming together. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm going to make some thin, very thin cuts so that they're like strips. And I'm gonna go all the way up to right below where the ribbon is in the center. And I'm just gonna cut some thin, thin lines, being careful not to cut all the way, all the way through the top, but just right up to the, where that ribbon is. Just so it makes it look like some little strands of white some little strips and you don't have to be too thin but thin enough so that it um, after we're done we can fluff it out and make it look like a beard. I'm doing this all the way across. If you are blind or visually impaired then when you do this step one thing that um, you could do to help you do make these cuts fairly straight is use some tape as you go along to line it up and then cut along the tape and then pull it off and keep going. So there is my cut Swiffler that is going to be my beard. And because I have the ribbon in between it, it's easy to now just tie it around the body, which is that sock with the rice in it. So I'm gonna tie that around it and make a knot in the back. And once that is done, I will have my beard done. 
I make a double knot in the back and then I can pull my hat down over that double knot a little bit. Here we go, we've got the beard. Let's see, I arrange that hat a little bit more. You can play with it to make, to make the hat. You want the hat fairly, you know, I'm gonna say about, you want the hat to be pulled down probably about an inch or an inch and a half, inch and a half away from where your beard is um, pulled up around the sock. Okay, now so you have a little space for the face right here. We're gonna put a nose right in the middle between where the brim of the hat is and the top of the beard is on the rice, rice part of the sock. And so I'm gonna take one of my little glue dots and there are plenty of these glue dots on the market. You might need two. Um, I'll start with one. And I like these again because they're not so messy. Sometimes they don't stick as well, so you might need to. But I'm gonna take this glue dot, and so my, my wooden ball has two holes on either side. It's just a little craft ball. And I'm going to make the two holes be on either side of the nose so that the, the hole shouldn't be facing the front. So I'm gonna put the, the glue dot on one of the sides without a hole. I'm gonna press that on really well and pull it off. So the glue dot adheres to the ball. And then I'm going to stick that, that ball right again in the center between where the beard is and the brim of the hat and kind of in the center of where that, if you feel the beard and how wide it is, you want it right center. I'm going to push that in, and again, you want the holes, so you should feel the holes on either side of the nose. I'm going to really press, especially because that rice is there, it's kind of hard to press down. And there we go. Now we have our little gnome. How easy was that? Flip over the hat, and there you go. He's chubby, he's cute, and he's ready for display. I hope you've enjoyed this craft. It's a lot of fun. As I said, you can then even use your socks when you're done again. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 978-419-1824. That's missykit.org. This is a, a, just a free little craft tip, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about Mitzi Kit Adaptive Crafting, please subscribe.